Hi, it's Emma from Women of Golf, and now Jamie is going to be getting me to work with a ball. Yep, so we've got a slam ball here. So we're going to be doing a rotational medicine ball slam. Now, if you're doing this at home, you don't have to have a slam ball. Any kind of ball would work fine, even something like a football that's lying around. The goal here is to start to move with a little bit more speed. So we're working on kind of upper body power and speed production in a pulling motion which is really important for kind of that downswing, that pull to help us hit the ball further. So we're going to do a rotational med ball slap. So the goal here, kind of comfortable stance width. And what do I do with my The arms? goal is to be lifting the ball up as high as you can. And then once the ball is as high as possible, you're going to rotate and try and slam it by what are the heels? Should I so, try and do it in slope? So do it slow. Yeah, so go a little bit. So you're going to reach up, arms go over the head, you rotate, and then you slam the ball as hard as you can into okay. the floor, preferably behind the heel. So the more, yeah. if the ball lands by the toe, we haven't rotated as much through the torso. So although this is a power exercise, it can also double up as a mobility exercise. Okay. So if you can really rotate and throw the ball almost behind okay. the heel, you can get some hip and trunk mobility at the same time. Okay. So the key here is to be as aggressive as you can. Oh, so can I imagine it's someone? So imagine it's someone, yeah. <laughs> imagine you've just had a free cut. Imagine it's someone on the floor and you're going to try and hit the ball into them as hard as possible. So the oh, ultimate goal is almost to make as much noise as possible. Okay. So the opposite of the landing on the jump. The more noise here, the better. That's it. You try that. Put the ball through the floor. It's and actually... similar to the jumps, we would do low reps. Okay. So probably four or five in each direction. And you would nice. do the other direction as well? We would do the other direction. Oh my goodness. Okay. But <laughs> I would always prioritise your kind of golfing direction. So if you're a right-handed golfer, slamming the ball by your left heel is going to have more carryover than slamming it by the right heel. So while you're kind of fresh and you're not fatigued, prioritise your dominant side, but we would still do the, the non-dominant side. Um, but don't worry if it's not quite as coordinated, <laughs> um, maybe not quite as powerful. You will improve as you do it, um, but the, the focus should mainly be on getting better at that, that dominant side. Thank you.